Hope you're ready. If you're ready. Here for your Friday. The good vibes are always. Sit back and press play. You will be at home. Live for your Friday. The good vibes are always. Sit back and press play. It's Friday. And we back. Rico, Will, Cam, and Parent on the track. It's Friday. The weekend. It's all good. Positive vibes flowing through your hood. Your hood. All right. <laughs> it's Friday. We here, bro. We are live. We here. We here. Cam is here. I'm here. It's real. Parent is here. Here, nice and hydrated. <laughs> yeah. okay. And the voice behind the scenes. This is God. <laughs> All right. Trey is here, guys. So. We and y'all know who I am, so we are so oh, we excited. You said they don't, you gotta reiterate. What's your name, huh? Rico? Rico Machka's in the building, okay? okay. okay. <laughs> God, we are so excited, man, about this episode because he's here, he's here, he's here. Hans is here. Hans. Hans. Not a lot of people can get a hold of this guy, man, but we got him, bro. We got him. Okay, Trey, don't let him get out the door, bro. Nah. Okay? He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Guys, so, what's up, man? Let the people know what's, what's going on. You had a good week. How you living? Good week. Work was work, but now I'm here. Yes, we're here. my Friday. Good week. It's been a busy week for us. Cam, <laughs> Cam is good. <laughs> man, everything's good. I've been a little sore right here under my rib, but you know, everything's going good, man. I've just been working out a lot lately, trying to stretch that muscle, but I'm in pain a little bit, but it's 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 steady going. So I'm I'm <laughs> keeping y'all prayers. Hopefully it go away soon. It doesn't hurt, but hey, I am right, right. <laughs> recovery. So but other than that, man, work has been the same. Um, yeah, man. All right, we asked for like your whole life story. We just want like a break. Okay, people. Oh, wait, wait, wait. People, it's cancer season, guys. It's cancer season, like, yeah. so people want to know. I'm a cancer. July 14. Ask about. And that's zodiac. Huh? Black you Music guys. Month, guys. It's still happening, as y'all can see. I got my my little Kim, my little Kim sweatshirt on. Queen B is in the building. Hashtag Amy Black got Beyonce Music here Month. Too. That's crazy. <sighs> I hate and Rihanna. Parent. I hate parents. Love you too, buddy. <laughs> Guys, so we're going to take a pause for the calls, and when we come back, Tom's going to be sitting right here. Boom, 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 boom. boom. <laughs> <laughs> Back guys, so look who is to your boy. My right, <laughs> what's good? Hans is what's in the good? building, man. Welcome what to up? the Friday podcast, what's bro. Up? Thank you for having me, man. I appreciate it. It's my first podcast. Uh, finally get to talk. So yes, yes, sir. yes sir. we uh, we appreciate it, bro. And we we yeah, are man. so excited, man. We're gonna we're gonna ask you a couple of questions, and we got a game. We're gonna play with you. We're gonna get 21 questions with Hans, bro. Oh, 21, 21 questions. Shout out to 50 Cent. Speaking of 50 Cent, shout out to him on Power too, because I've been watching it. And way. you haven't finished yet. Oh my gosh. They, they they killing me, bro. He is true. He's only on it. season three. <laughs> you have you watched that show? We already I don't even watch TV books. like that, man. But I know what you're talking about. That's not one of our about. questions, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hans, so Cam is gonna kick it off, bro. Um, and we're gonna just roll, man. We're gonna just vibe and just talk with you, man. Let's get it, man. Let's go. All right, Hans, you ready, man? First yes, question, man. Let's All right. Go. Well, how has music influenced you as a musician and a dancer? 
Ooh. Yes, Black Music Month. And yeah, shout out to the shout out, shout out. And I know you were a dancer too. That's what yeah, man. Playing, man. So they go hand in hand. I started dancing first. Right. I was b boying. Um, pretty much from a young age, like before I lived in Virginia, I lived in New York for like three years, wasn't too long, but I was at a point in my life where I had like consciousness of knowing who I was as a person in this world, not like on a baby level, but like, oh, Man. I live here now, you know what I mean? Like I'm on this world, but I learned how to b-boy there, did some, you know, dance moves along the way out there, learned some things, brought it to Virginia right. years later got into music just because, you know, I was sitting there learning so much from dance and the rhythms and the tempos and just how, I don't know, it's like a whole language when you're speaking through dance. It's an right. unspoken language. Yes. So I just learned to speak that language and now translate it through music and I feel like they go hand in hand pretty much. Huh? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Ken, what's the next question? All right, next question is, what are you working on and what's your ne what's next for you, Han? Ooh. Yes. Okay. So I've been uh, working with some artists in New York lately. Okay, yeah, okay. In Brooklyn. Um, there's a few artists too, not just in Brooklyn, but like from out here. I got my homie uh, Half Cab Jalf. We got we got some work on the way. Okay. Um, the artist I've been working with in Brooklyn is her name is Binksy. Oh, a female. Yeah, she is real dope. Singer, rapper. She uh, she do it all. She do it. a Jack whole multi dimensional person. Okay. So, okay, okay. Yeah, so it's like uh, you know I've been up there. We've been booking time in the studio. Key and Needle, shout out to JT. Yes, and um, we just been kicking it off. And so far, we got we got some work. I can't say too too much yet about that one, but we okay. got some work on the way with that. So yes, but when it drops, you got to come back. Oh yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> okay, yes absolutely. for sure. But what has dropped is that Love Fifty Fifty. Oh yeah, man. Love so, Fifty Fifty. So, man, I love that. That's that is tough, bro. It's such Thank a good you, vibe. Appreciate that. It's Thank such you. a good vibe. Bro. I held that I song for that a year, bro. A whole year I've been listening to myself really? before I put it out. Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, my homie G Donna produced that. Okay. Shout out to G Donna. It's one of my homies. That actually lives down the street from me. He's worked with uh, Sonny and Gabe. Um, okay. Drum. Who else? Young Roger. He's work oh young Raj, sorry. Young Raj. Yeah. Um and yeah, it's just life comes in full circle, man. Yes, it always full does. Circle. Yeah. But I also before we get into the game, the twenty one questions, um, I'm gonna hand it to Parent. I'm gonna let Parent well, he got his phone, he's gonna kick it off. I wanna ask you about because after Love Fifty Fifty, man, I, I was just going back, just like I'm like, man, what else this dude got, bro? <laughs> And so send it again. Oh yeah, man. I ayo, I I love that almost more than love fifty fifty. That's bro. fair. I like I, that, yo. <laughs> I put it's it's the fact that I think it was a very in the moment song. For yeah, me. Well, love fifty fifty was very structured kind of take for me because uh -huh. like I really sat down and it was more like of a almost a think piece rather than how send it again. I just. One day I was on live, I made the beat, and literally people were like, yo, it's dope. And I'm like, bet. And then what? On singing. live? Yeah. And I was freestyling to it. The first whole half is freestyled. And then you get into the part where I rap, and that's when I actually wrote it. So I, The tough. beat is yeah. hella Thank tough. You, bro. Yeah, man. Like, Thank what? You. Shout out to Airwave all, Music. You do it all. Yeah, man. Yes. Produce. I'm an artist. It's it's years in the making. I still got a lot to learn though. Always gotta be humble about it. So well, we right here with you, bro, for the ride, man. Thank so you, we bro. we I appreciate we love. I mean, yeah, I'm, I love what you're doing. I bro. appreciate this platform for having me, yo, for real. Like it feels good to actually open up about my art because I've been on podcasts, but I'm more so of a guest. That's yes. You know, we're talking about certain subject matter, but this subject matters more on me, which I'm like, is oh. you okay? <laughs> I'm like, man, this is crazy. Yes, man, we love it, bro. So we're going to get into this 21 questions, Hans, and you just, if you don't want to answer some, you can, no, we ain't, we ain't even doing that. Nah, he got to answer, nah, answer, answer, answer every question. He got to answer every question. I have to answer. Okay, he got to answer every question. Right. <laughs> Say less. Say less. Come on, Perry. Question number one. One, one, one. What's your favorite movie? Oh, Napoleon Dynamite all the way. Oh! <laughs> That's like oh, my this... first take on Jamiroquai right there, yeah. man. Did oh, you vote for Pedro? What's up? Did you vote for Pedro? 
<sighs> yeah, I voted for him back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Pedro, you know. One of my favorite scenes is when his uncle, uh, he was just sitting on the porch talking to Kip. And then Napoleon was riding the bike, and then he just picked up the steak from his plate, and he was like, "Yo, watch this!" And he just threw it and hit it on the bike. Face, bro, I be so hard at that. Yes, know. shout out to Napoleon <laughs> Dynamite, bro. Yes, I relate. Hans, what school did you go to? Uh, as far as high school, yeah, I went to Woodside. With this guy, <laughs> <laughs> Newport Ooh. News in the Newport building. News. I would have went to Woodside too. Yes, sir. Uh, Let's move past that. Uh, <laughs> number three, which Disney character would you be if you had to choose? Oh, man, there's so many good ones. Dang. <laughs> Trey knows who I'll be before I know who I'll be. <laughs> I don't even, dang. Oh, man, I don't want to say anything cliche, though. It doesn't matter. Say it. Uh, oh, Trey, man. who would you, you say you yeah, would Yeah, I want to know who Trey would say. Trey, who would you pick? We'll let, Trey, we'll let Trey pick your Disney character. Yes. Uh, Lay food. Trey see, Trey, Lay that's food. not fair. Trey knows me for years and years and years and years. He he's we well we had elementary school together. He's watched me develop, and I'm 26 now. So and we were who mm. knows how old we were at the time, but yes, yeah, I was crazy back then. <laughs> Ken, what's the next question? Is your favorite holiday Christmas, Thanksgiving, or Halloween? Oh. Man. But when you answer that, think about the now. The now. I'm asking you now, not back when, but All right. right now. I'll say Halloween because I could dress up okay. however I, okay. I damn well please. And it's also within my month, too, of, uh, when I was born, October. Shout October. Out. Yeah. Game. Yeah. Game. Game. Oh, right. You know, you got to keep it season. fair. You got to balance it out. So yes. About that. Come on, Perry. What's one male musician who inspired you in your career the most? Oh, man, I, I'm going to sound like a Virginia artist already off top, but Pharrell. Shout out to Pharrell. Shout out to Pharrell. Black Pharrell. Like, music, man. Pharrell, he got Pharrell. hits, bro. Hits, hits for on days. Hits on man. Hits. Yeah, man. It's like, amazing. he can play Talented. the forefront. He can play the background. And to me, yes. it's like, I like to... I like to produce sometimes, and sometimes I don't like to say anything and let whoever's on the track do all the, you know, the speaking. But right. And some days, I, I'm like, all right. I guess I'm going to make a track today, and that's why. It's Man, like, you, know. you don't got to be Puff Daddy all in the videos. <laughs> in the videos. Dance up now. Just like. <laughs> Shook Knight. Yes. Come on, Ken. Nick. Sitting on your ass over there. No, you right you talking, bro. I ain't trying to talk over you. You kind of got a little Ken shirt. Right, I've been giving Cam a hard time. Hey, name a song you can listen to over and over. Oh, man. Love 50-50. doesn't have to be his song. It can't be your song. It cannot be your song. Cam said it can't be your song. So it can't be your own song. It can't. Okay. Perfect. Um, let me think. Let me think. Ooh, why is it so hard, have we stumped man? you? Oh, you uh, have stumped me because I listen to so hearts. much music. And I like... Your go-to right now. Boom. I'd have to look at my Spotify. It would probably Spotify be like... Um, well, oh my God, I'm so on the, on the spot <laughs> right now. Who do I listen to right now? Yeah, on your way. Were you listening to music on your way coming here? Uh, I don't think I was. I actually was just sitting in the car yeah. and driving over it here. Has to be a song. You have on repeat right now. They're like, yeah, just... but I don't want to pull out my phone to look because I definitely hey, have. Hey, look, do there, it. There's you gotta stages. Do it. There's stages of my you life. Gotta do it. He's gonna do it. Put on his phone. He's gotta look <laughs> at it. my phone. I'm sorry, y'all. I have to do it this way. All right, let's see what I I've do it been. all the time. So okay, not, not one that I've been uh, that's on been on repeat lately is Smino. Um, his new song, okay. um, uh, Rice and Gravy. Okay, just, uh, Rice and uh, Gravy. Uh, the, Smino, Rice and Gravy. Smino, man, yeah, like Smino's his delivery, dude. his his vocals. Monty Booker as a producer Monty Booker, beast. is he's a beast, man. Like they're both all right. like monsters at what they do. Come on, here. Favorite color? Forest green. Love it. Forest yep. green. All Forest right. Forest green. And money. What food could you eat forever? Ooh, man. Oh, man. I'm going to be very plain in my answer because... Come on. Out... <laughs> and I know I'm Asian, but rice is comfort food. <laughs> I know, <laughs> right. Fun fact. Fun food. fact. He's Asian, guys. I'm Filipino, man. So yes. rice. 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 when I see rice, rice, I know I'm about I to have a good meal. Out. That's all I'm going to say. Period. <laughs> yes. So what one word describes a good friendship? 
Mm. Let me think. Uh, loyalty. Oh, that's my facts. God. That's loyalty, that's it right there. Man. That's me. That's man. right. You gotta stay loyal to the got homies. You, you gotta got stay loyal. Gotta stay Bros loyal. all day. Always like. humble. <laughs> this cam is crazy. All right, huh? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. If you had to be in the Olympics, what sport would you play? Now think about it now. Uh -huh. Shout out to the Olympics! It's coming out. Oh, just... they! I know what you're about to say. <laughs> they added break dancing. Yeah, they did. <laughs> that would be it right there. Yes, sir. Dancers in the building. I'd have to like yes, you know sir. get the WD forty and get off the rust, but like you know, that's, that's more. I'll, you got I'll, I'll go back onto the dance floor for that for sure. Got to, for, sure. Got to. What? for sure. What product could you never live without? What product? Yeah. Yep. Product. It could be anything. Anything. What product can I, um, probably uh, my MacBook. That is my money maker. Uh, I need one. <laughs> uh, I never yeah, owned a MacBook. MacBook. I'm sorry. I don't even have you know, a like, MacBook. iPad. Yeah. Maybe I, I could have said something special, but I said MacBook. Cause, no, like, you're right about that. Very often. Come on, Cam. What's the worst situation you've ever been in? Oh, man. <laughs> Bring out the files. Fire, yeah. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Let me think. Like digging it back. How, how far like... back are we Are we speaking? You hey, do, how, hey. You wanna, where you want to go? This hey. is your life. This the worst one, man. What you want to tell the people? Oh, man. Okay, I'm not going to go full like detail Like J. Cole mode. with my life. <laughs> not going to go full detail mode. Hey, but... no. You got to be like Beyonce a little bit. <laughs> 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 but, uh... Mm, man. All right. Yeah, I'll say it. Fine. Um, one time I was on some something, something, yeah. some type of something. And uh, let's just say uh, it wasn't a great trip. And <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was in a lake with all my clothes on. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> I and uh, I threw everything out of my wallet, broke my gold chain, my gold... Uh, Bracelet and dang, huh? Yeah, yeah. I kind of like just scratched <laughs> oh, my memory. Y'all wanted, y'all wanted the files, man. Hey, there look, you go. but we're gonna, we're gonna go, we're gonna go from the worst <laughs> to some good. Because okay, that's fine. what does success look like to Hans? Oh, success is being man. They say that you you don't always want to search for something mm -hmm. too much, you know. There's a point where it's like you have something and then you think you, and once you get it, you're going to want more and more and more. So some people would uh, relate success to, I guess, material things, but mm -hmm. necessarily I, I don't think I can because I don't want to right. forever live on that chase, I guess. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's just really, I want to say contentment within yourself and just Facts. being, knowing that you, you've, you've Met your goals that you you set for yourself, right? And you're content with it, and you know there's still a good balance between being content and being stagnant. So just like, I think you, man, I love it, bro. It's, I love it. I love it. It's a tough question. What's your go-to fun thing to do? Mm, what I like to do that's fun. Yes. <laughs> I honestly just like to do a lot of random shit, man. Like, I just, like, <laughs> you will find me in the it. most random it. places. I've been, like, a couple weeks The ago. last random thing you did. Uh, I was at a waterfall, and it was super cold outside, and I just Boom. went that joint, and it was just, it was refreshing. It was like <laughs> electricity was going through my body, but in the most positive <laughs> way. Yeah. Come on, Pam. Okay, what, what's uh, the last thing you ordered from Amazon? Oh man, uh, it's probably something real random. Um, we straight shoot, that man, hat. that hat, nah, 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 nah. I have, I had a queen make this hat. You know, shout out to shout Further out. Hat, Further Who Hat Company, K Tan. Say out. what's the name again? K Tan, Further Hat Company. Bet. Follow it on Instagram. But uh, as far as Amazon, probably like some fucking like. Bar of soap that has that's like okay. natural ingredients in there. I love it, you man. Know what I okay. mean? Come on, man. Okay. Uh, if someone had to describe you, what would what would they say? <laughs> uh, they'd probably be like, "He's a goofy dude." Oh, yeah. like, <laughs> it's hard to get in contact with him, just like he said. But um, 
Yeah, just a very Bang. goofy guy, eclectic, goofy guy. I love it. Are you a morning person, a night person? I used to be a morning person, and then unfortunately, I, I work at uh, a restaurant now, and I turned into a night person. That's the best. All right. So good. Yeah. I'm trying to get back on a night wave, bro. I yeah. fall asleep. I can't hear you. <laughs> 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 All right. Who's your celebrity crush? Meg Thee Stallion. Okay, I shout out to me. No, I, I knew that question was coming for some reason. I thought about it today. I vividly remember the time I thought about this at my house today. That I was going, I was thinking, yo, I was looking I at my Xbox it. and I was like, they're gonna ask me like, what was my like go to celeb? <laughs> and my wife, and I already knew. I was like, Meg Thee Stallion, yo, okay. she's Bad. everything, everything. What's your go to karaoke song? Um. Ooh, I was singing some stuff in Richmond when I was there. What was it? Shout uh, out Richmond, 804. That's, 804. That's, I'm, I'm from up that way. Hey. Petersburg. Like, okay, my guy. Yes, yeah. sir. Um, Let me think. Yeah, I think I was singing five. the Gorillas. <laughs> Shut uh, up, <laughs> That feel good ink. Okay, yeah. all right, all right. Nah, I all feel right. like it's a universal song. Like a lot Gorillas of people, feel like kind of like it. Don't matter what kind of walk of life you're on. Like if you hear that song, you're just like don't, 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 don't. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, shout out. So this is the last question, Hans. Mm-hmm. And so I think it's a uh, it's a little reflective, and uh, I would love to know your answer to this. Mm-hmm. If you had a time machine, what era would you go back to? Like, it could be beyond the time I was... Beyond the time you Ooh. were even created. Okay. So you could have been created in a different era. Uh, the 70s, man. The disco wow. era. Wow. Disco era. That's okay, the era. Okay. Like, I just I miss a time when like it was like cool to dance in the club and just like... right. You know, everyone's just kind of doing yes, their own thing, right? Whatever, whatever. Everybody just stand around. Bonus yeah. question: Favorite disco artist? Oh man, I would say not from the seventies, but okay. it, it would probably be Jamiroquai for sure. Okay, yeah. all right, Shout out all to right. Jamiroquai. Maybe he's more like on another kind of genre, but he has some disco. No, he's kinda, yeah. I would give him. I would give him that. I would give yeah. him that. I'm Got some disco some vibes. Disco kinda, yeah. yeah, I like Jamiroquai. I love yeah. Donna Summer. She's a queen of disco. Ooh, so. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Gavin Turk Wes Will's favorite One of Will's favorite artists Disco artists as well Okay <laughs> Will Shout out to Will Will can be with us today I don't know what he's doing He's in Georgia He's in Georgia for school I'm He's, in, he's in Georgia for school I'm being a I'm being a butt bunch. But yes Hans we, we We love you bro We That's the 21 questions man. man Thank you That's the 21 yes, questions sir. man Thank Shout you. out all your stuff Let everybody know How they can How they can follow you And hit you up And stay in touch with you man Um, You can follow me on Instagram At HP Desktop Like the computer company And if they want that name I'm gonna need 500k Straight up So <laughs> You heard it now Now okay. playing That's fine. Uh, That's fine. <laughs> You know It's like It's like Doing he stocks it. Without doing stocks He got it Like so, You cannot right. get yeah. that yeah, I'm waiting for the day I look at my DM and they're like, yo, I think we need that name. And I'm like, well, I've well, been plotting on this day for quite some time. <laughs> so um. we, we come to the bag. <laughs> the, our theme for this season is be bold. So be like, bold. Hey, be bold. I love it. I love be it. Be bold about it. Well, you know it's coming, G. <laughs> it's coming. I'm manifesting it. It's yes, coming. Think about it. Hold on, let me show you HP something. right behind you over there. Yes, it's sir. coming. Look. Let me show y'all something. This is the Will Ferrell method right here. Come on. So I'm not going to pull out my money, but in my right. fucking wallet, right? I got a $100,000 bill, and this is me. And then <laughs> it says United States of Abundance. And when... uh. I think I read an article about Will Ferrell, right? I know some people are like, what the fuck? Why does he have this in there? It's not even a real bill. But one time he actually had uh, written a check for himself and kept it in his wallet. And a year later, it became real. So right, positive affirmation. Okay. okay. Yes, bro. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Keep it. The world's Keep most it. positive podcast right here, man. And if that yeah, does man. not speak to everything that we're about, that definitely I know what does. To tell you. you know what I mean? I always keep it in there. Definitely world's most positive, one hundred percent. Yes, 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 sir. Um, also, uh, I've been reading this book called uh, "The Alchemist." Fire so, book. Fire. You know about it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Shout I out read, to John Boyer and Lloyd. <laughs> but Must dude, be. It's, look, look, it, look he, he can attest. It changes. It changes everything. your life. Man, like really? I, I had to, I have to speak about it real quick, man. Like, look, I 
I just got into like really reading books. Well, you know, back then you're like, ah, oh, fuck, I gotta read a book. Yeah. And now it's like when I read it, like I feel like I'm I'm feeding my brain something, you know. But but this time it was an audio book, so um, that's free on YouTube. Listen to that, the, the Alchemist. Alchemist. And if you're on a journey, mm-hmm. just know like the universe presents your path to you in multiple ways, good or bad, and it's up to you to decipher what route to take there. Uh, and that's, that's facts. That's, that's all Let's go with that. that real, stuff right yeah. real. Check it out, man. Like that book Shout changed out. my life, dude. Yes. Man, well, we thank you, Hans, man, for coming through, bro. Yeah, man. Y'all, man. And you, when bro. the next Appreciate project y'all. drop, you got to come back, bro. Absolutely, right, man. Same exact Again. Same. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> yes. Maybe, we'll put, maybe we'll put you on the other side next yeah. time. Yeah, we're gonna you switch it up. Uh, we might not play fit in musical that chairs. There you, know you go. <laughs> but man, I appreciate y'all for having me, man. Like for real, this is it's dope to talk about my art for once. Yes, like, man. You know, I'm, not, I'm not always able to talk about these things. So when I present with the opportunity, man, like it, it's, it always makes me happy. And I'm just like, I don't well, we appreciate it, it enough, man. Shout out to the Friday podcast. Man. Thank you, yes, man. sir. Yes, yes. Sir. That's our first drop ever yeah, yeah. from Hans. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I've been following them. Trust, trust. Yes. Oh, come on. Y'all are doing it, doing it big, man. I love it. Keep appreciate you, bro. Doing. Yes. Absolutely. Also, uh, just keep just look out for everything that this guy's doing, man. He's such a positive dude, and I I just can't say we just can't say enough here, man. So we love y'all, man. We're gonna take a quick break and we can come right back with the heat check. Heat, heat check. check. Boom. Back guys, and Hans is still here with us, man. Yes, He's gonna kick it with us for the rest of the episode. Thank you, my man. Yes, sir. Absolutely. We appreciate you, man. So let's get into it with the heat check, Perry. Heat check. Heat check. Are you gonna let him in on the the? Uh... You know what? I'm going to. Okay. I'm going to. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you remember through, I think it was the Ebony episode. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Cam was supposed to heat check today. Wait, 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 wait. He forgot. But luckily, I came Wait. prepared with more heat, like I always have. Wait, see what Thank happened you. was. Anyway, <laughs> see what happened was. So the shoe I'm doing today are the um, Bait, it's a clothing brand, Asics Gel GT2 Red Ring. These okay. right here, you probably can't see them. They, they know they can see them, I think. They and can see them. So basically, here's a quick backstory. They can't? In 2012. Put your foot up here so they can see. Can't see? Can't see? Can they see, see it? They see it? Ooh. So in 2012. Tough, Thank you. Yeah, in right. 2012, the Olympics were happening, and... Bait and Ace decided to make a collaboration, and they made five sneakers, all dealing with the colors of the rings. Okay. And I believe I might have showed another pair, which I have. They're like blue and red, but I'm not sure. But I have these. This is just another one of those pairs. So there's this okay. pair, the blue and red pair I have at the house, the green pair, a yellow pair, and a black pair, all for the rings of the Olympics. What? And inside, I hope there might be a picture. I hope I take my shoe off because we kind of lie. They're, they're, it's all good. They're gold on the inside, like gold, like gold medals. So. Man, I, okay. I, I that's dope. That's fun dope. fact, guys, I am low key obsessed with the Olympics. Like, I watch them every year. Like, it's a holiday to me, mm-hmm. and so I'm here at the house, like watching the Olympics. And er- so, what? I need those, bear. I need those, bro. Well, maybe next Christmas. <laughs> next, next Christmas. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the heat check, man. I, I like it, bro. Can uh, okay, you gonna be prepared? All right, I'm gonna be prepared. I'm gonna have some heat. Just don't. Worry. Just don't worry. I got yes, y'all. yes. I got y'all. So yeah, two episodes, good. we'll see. All right, so, yes, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, hold it to in the shoes, bro. You in the sneaks? I, I, I am. But some, the Converse is right I, now. I some very beat up. Um, hey, um, I'm a OG? Converse man. That's yeah, OG. OG. Yeah. OG. That's the Sandlot, bro. Those are the Sandlot. And I got coffee spilled on these ones, so it made it a little like you know a little. It's all good. I was pissed at first, but I was like, hold on. I'm on to something real quick. <laughs> Hello. But yeah, I'm definitely in the shoes. Um, you got to get me familiar with the heat check. Well, the heat check is, Perry, you want to explain your, heat your, check is your segment? I go into my closet and I find a pair of shoes that I think are heat. And then I bring them, talk about the history of them, and then boom. And that's it, really. That's it. Ooh. it all spawned because I I was just, I'm a 
Pam's just a, a shoe dude. And so yeah. I'm just walking, I'm seeing him, he walking around. I'm like, bro, he's always got the heat, bro. He always Damn, got the fire heat shoes. Heat check, heat check. He's always I got see. the fire shoes. So I'm I like, see. boom. Hey, man. Okay. Well, listen, this is a long time coming. <laughs> High school parent couldn't afford sneakers, but now <laughs> I can afford sneakers. Bree. Um, That's the history of it, man. I like yeah. those human race uh, Adidas. I don't know if y'all have seen those. Oh, yeah, yeah man. Okay, yeah. okay. That is uh, human made. Uh, Nigo is the yeah. creator. So, you know, he kind of branched off from doing all the bathing ape stuff. Bathing ape, yeah. Pharrell had some too. Yep. Pharrell right. had them on. I think those are a very clean. Silhouette kind of shoes right there, yeah. man. I wish yes, I could yes. get really myself a pair soon. Don't worry. Yes, <laughs> yes. Speaking <laughs> of Pharrell, we always bring it back V to V A, man. Somehow, but uh, new music, bro, guys. What is what are we listening to, man? What what new music are we listening to, or what's new to us, and what's going to be new to the people? Should I go first, Rico? Uh, let's start like this. Right. Yeah. I, no, let let people no, go, no, first. I, go first. I want y'all to go first. I'll so go I know first. What, yes. Where, so I can gauge this out real quick. I'll go first. So speaking of VA, my two songs are from VA artists. Okay. The first song is called Holy Poltergeist by Monday Night. And mm. the second song is Three Way Gold by Three Way Slim. Those are my two Ooh, songs. Shout All out right. Three Way Slim. Wow. All right. Okay. Cool. Come on, Cam. All right. My first one is Already Best Friends, Jack Harlow featuring Chris Brown. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that junk is a bop, always on repeat. And the second one is Bad. It just dropped. It's by Young Blue, Chris Brown, and Two Chain. That's also a bop. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Two Trey, Brown. Trey, what, what, you, what songs you got, my G? Okay, bloody mm-hmm. water. He said. Essence by Wiz. Essence by Wiz. <laughs> Absolutely. We only said two songs. How Trey get this? every right. episode he does? There's always like three, four songs. <laughs> one for good luck. Essence, Stevie Wonder, and I don't know what the other one he said. Yeah, it's just two. Just two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Waters, her bro. Um, I'm gonna let Hans go last. I normally go last every episode, Hans, but we're gonna let you go last. Go and then I'll go. So my uh, the parents said his uh, his both his songs from a VA artist. One of my songs is from a VA artist, and that artist happens to be sitting right next to us. Hey, <laughs> I, I, I told y'all I'll send it again. That's been on repeat, bro. Thank I be you, bro. playing Thank that you, joint. Man. I'm Thank running you. the streams all the way up on that shit. So like, <laughs> run it up. <laughs> Run it up. I'm not at all. I, did I not send, did I not send it to y'all in the music chat that we got? I sent it to the to them in the yeah, music chat that we you got. Did. I was like, geez, Rico, you, this, you don't send that many songs ever. <laughs> okay, all right, boom. I'm I'm on that shit, bro. So um my other song is uh y'all know I'm heavy, heavy on um wait, was I gonna say the reggae song? <laughs> I don't know. You uh us. yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say the reggae song, but I can't remember the artist right now, but um, it's called From Rags to Riches. Um, I was listening to um I was watching this guy, uh, shout out to him. His name is um Dior Zaire on uh Instagram and he has a TikTok. And so I was watching him, he does all these dancing videos, and this was a song that he was playing, and I love reggae, I'm heavy on it, and so I love that song. From Rags to Riches. When I post it, y'all see I'll put a little joint up here who the artist is, but I can't remember who it is right now. But shout out to them. Hey. Hans. Got you. So I said one earlier. Smino. Smino, you got rice and gravy. And I'm gonna say a VA artist now. Um Al Doms, bro. Al Doms. Okay. Rat race. Uh shout out to the producer, Mark Bees as well. We got a track together. Yes. Um, dude, Al Doms is killing it right now, yeah. man. Like he is putting on for the city. Yes. So shout Let's out call. to him, man. Like, yeah. Yes. Shout out to yeah. Al Dobbs and Jesse Dobbs. and everybody next. Okay, you guys. Since Trey got a third song, I'm a, I am I got to put my third song in. Yep. So that means we all got to put our third song. No, you don't. Because we about to move on after this. <laughs> Shout out to Scoozy. Shout out to Scoozy. Ooh, Newport Shorts. Scoozy. My Ayo, guys are... I love that song, bro. And, shout and out he, to Scoozy, Shout out to Scoozy, bro. He, heavy, heavy, heavy on that joint. Newport L. Shorts. So, yes. Y'all go look that up, too. Um... Wow. But guys, wow. see how the rules change? Exactly. We're going to move the on. Rules gotta change. <laughs> I'm not, not going to do them like that. I'm not going to do them like that. Come on, Cam. Come on, Perrin. I'll go. I got mine right here. 1491 by Navy Blue. Another another artist from LA. All right. All right. 
Amigos Having Your Way featuring Drake. And I was actually listening uh, to that too, so shout out to them. Uh, <laughs> it's not. Yes, having guys. your our way. Oh man, guys, we could talk Be about friend. our music all day, man, all day, all day. But we want to keep it moving, and we're gonna bring it down to my favorite uh, segment. Uh, I live for your Friday moment. Uh, no. <laughs> I live for your Friday moment, Hans. So what this segment is, Hans, is like we I, we got we kind of or we we do I do try to bring it all together, man. In the end, with a, a quote um, that just ties everything together that we kind of talked about in the episode. Absolutely. And uh, just kind of bring us back in, center us, and you know, shout out to the man upstairs too. Um, pair put the quote for me, bro, because you know my phone's over there, so I don't got it. <laughs> And we're going to let Pam read the quote today. Oh, what an honor. Sorry, Will. Byron. Um, <laughs> the quote is by Byron Pulsinger. To be bold is to set fear behind you. Boom. Boom. Big by the boom. You got to. You got to. Big by the boom. We all doing it right now. Like in all, We're all artists here. We're, we're all doing it in our lives right now. Uh, Hans just told you about what he's got going on. He was just in in New York. If he would if he would have let fear stop him, he would have never even been. There. Absolutely. I mean, we're all doing a lot of things, and we cannot let God didn't give us a spirit of fear. Number one, so like we can't we can't let any any of that stuff stop us. Doubt, worry, none of that. We're gonna keep pushing forward and keep our uh, mind focused on the future. Being bold. And being bold. Being bold. Absolutely. Boom. Any last words, anyone? Hans. 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 Shout out to the Friday podcast. It was the Friday podcast. Pod. Out here, man. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go, Let's man. Go, man. Those are my last words right there. Boom. My last words are be on the lookout. Episode three of the treaty is being filmed very soon. Yep. Follow Real Gold on Instagram, Twitter, try to, Facebook, and watch our videos on YouTube. That's it. Stay tuned. Yes. And you know what I'm say? Drink your water. Well, Definitely drink that. Yeah, there you go. See, you have Rico here. We switch it up. Wait, wait. Oh. Mm-hmm. The last thing you should say is your billboard. And what does that say? <laughs> shout hey. out to Perrin. Hold on, Perrin, before you go. We're going to let, let you close the episode with that. Gotcha. But shout out to him because that, I think, I, I think that's the, Cam mentioned it again, but that's like the fourth or fifth time somebody's said that to me who's listened to that episode. So, Perrin, let them know what it is, man. Hope it's right. uh, shit. What is it? 2021. 2021. Shit gets done. Boom. Done. And we love y'all, man. And we love Hans, man. Hans, the boy. Y'all go listen to Love 5050. Send it again. Listen to all of it, dude. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Star we out. Track. Peace. <laughs>